Hey YouTube, I'm using one of the wizards on Mach 3 mil. This is um, Mach 3 and this wizard is a surface finishing one. Um, <laughs> right now I'm probably not going to find the right one. I've been going through here and just playing around with all these guys. And this one is surfacing, or surface. So um, on here, I put the uh, block here, which is, um, I, I'm doing four inches here. I ran this already, and it wasn't deep enough. Um, and that was when I had it set for uh, like 3.75. And I'm just messing around here and testing these out. Some of these wizards I haven't had any luck with, but um, step over is the percent that you're going to um, have. So if you have like a, we'll just say a one inch tool, um, and if you have 75% step over, that means the next pass is gonna move over um, 750 thousandths. So 75% of the diameter of that tool will um, be there. So you have 25% um, that's getting resurfaced as it goes over it. So, um, as default, I think it has like 60% or 70% or something like that, and I'm just messing around. I turned it down to like 40% to see what it, it did, and I'm just using Nylatron, which is a graphite impregnated nylon uh, for practice. And I've got a high speed steel two flute end mill on there, a quality one. Um, I don't think it really takes much to machine this plastic. One thing I'll uh, note is the uh, speed you want to keep your your spindle speed down because if it's too fast it'll just melt the stuff so um, I've entered in this stuff uh, tool diameter of all this I'll go through it really quick so the length on here is actually the width um, of the X how wide that is and the width how it's labeled is actually what I would call the maybe the, the depth and so uh, two and a half inches there um, finish mount, which is the last um, pass, I guess, is set to 100 thousandth. Um, X position is zero, Y position is zero. Now, this is if you're starting in the center here, and that's actually what messed me up, but it does give you the best, um, I guess, you know, if you start off here and do all that, it's, uh, I think it's harder to center yourself here. But if you wanted to just go off this edge, which I haven't messed around with this until now, um, but you see hitting that set position, you see this green thing? Um, from here it's gonna go to there, and I click it, and then uh, you can select which side you wanna go on. So I'm gonna pick this bottom left, which I wish I would've done before, and tell you the truth, I didn't even notice that until um, now when I'm making the video. I was trying to manually just click on these to select, and it didn't work, so, I was getting frustrated. I was like, man, this sucks. Because I don't want to start in the center of the piece. I prefer to start here. Uh, it's easy. Because then you just jog over there with your controls and then uh, do the deal. So, anyway. Um, sorry for this sounding like some guy that doesn't know what he's doing doing the video. But that happens to be the case. So, with all that being said, um, a rapid height... Um, is set for a hundred thousandths feed plunge is set for 30 so that's 30 um, inches per minute it's going to plunge into the material um, tool diameter there obviously spindle speed it doesn't really matter because I don't have spindle speed control um, the, the final depth is going to be um, 375 thousandths or 3 eighths and step depth which is how deep it's going to plunge each pass um, is a hundred thousandths so now I'm going to hit uh, save settings and then post code. So here it says inch, which I guess is just letting us know that it's in um, US measurements, not metric. Um, that's a guess, because usually that's where your errors will pop up. Now I'm going to hit exit now, and now the G code should post out here. All right, good. So it's generated the G code, and what I'm going to do is jog my happy self over to the uh, bottom left and then I'm going to reference off of that and I'm actually
actually gonna turn the spindle on and cut into here. This is gonna be my, you know what? I just might machine that crap off right now. my tripod, which I use a rubber band, so I'll hold it onto the tripod, pretty fancy. here and zero X Y Z and then I can hit cycle start hopefully this is going to go perfect and I look smart I will doubt that What else would work really good for this? A fly cutter in one pass. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, fly cutter. Wow, it would do really good here. Or anything other than a, like a quarter inch end mill. watching this video. <laughs> That's awesome. I know this is probably boring for pretty much everyone else, but I love this. I could watch this make chips all night. Just not doing it by hand is the cool part. Got a weird fascination for it. 